Hey, everybody. Come on in, we'll get started shortly. Hi, hi. I know you guys are just like staring at my face as I'm like staring at the screen. <laughs> Come on in. Let me pin this, that way everyone knows. Hey, yeah, come on in. Come here, baby. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Zen, breath work, doga class. Okay, but all pets are completely welcome. Uh, if you're just joining in, or everyone's just joining in, go ahead and tell me your name and the name of your pet, or if, just the name of your pet if you want. Dog, cat, bunny, guinea pig. You know, as I've been teaching these classes, these, these online pet yoga, dog yoga classes, I've had so many people you know, asking like, can I do this with my cat? Can I do this with my guinea pig? Can I do this with my ferret? And yes, you absolutely can. All pets are absolutely, absolutely welcome. I'm gonna start a little bit of light music. It helps set the tone for, for me, but make sure you have a clear uh, space. You know, today is gonna be far more um, relaxing than classes that I have led here in the past. Um, today's class is sponsored by uh, Nulo Pet Food, okay, it's spelled N-U-L-O, and it's also sponsored by Healthy Spot. Uh, we love Healthy Spot. Guys, I'm actually really excited that Nulo is one of the uh, sponsors for today's class because Nulo brand, true story, is the only brand that my kitten Lavandrius would eat. He had parasites, he had an upset stomach. Nulo was the only brand he would put up with. Here, let me introduce you. I know some of you guys are, are new to me. Guys, this is Teddy. <laughs> He's my dog <laughs> for the day. This is Teddy. Uh, Turkish Angora blends, um, all black baby. Both of my guys are about five years old. You know, I do have dogs in my life, but I'm not quarantined with any of them. So I have German Shepherd, uh, Golden Wiener, Chihuahuas, uh, Cattle Dog Mix. I have so many in my life, I'm just not quarantined with them. So you're gonna be seeing my cats. Um, Lavandrius is in the window right here. I wanna introduce you to Lavandrius. Let me grab him really quickly. Hi. Yeah, let's say hi to all the people. Guys, this is Lavandrius. This is the, the new little baby kitty cat. Um, like I said, Nulo was the only brand this guy would eat. Look at those spots. Look at that belly, look at those spots. Welcome, come on in, say hi. Uh, tell me who you're gonna be breathing and practicing with today. It's a hot one out there. This room is really warm. Make sure you guys are staying hydrated. So, um, one thing I do wanna share with you guys from Nulo is their freestyle cat perfect purees. They look like this. They're like in these like kind of like stick packs. You cut them open. It's like a lickable treat. You could also put it as like a topper on top of their food if they're not super food motivated. Yeah, I know. You guys know I have this stuff. So my guys, I put their food in a bowl. They don't really eat uh, out of my hand. Now this is the, I believe chicken and salmon flavor, but there's other flavors as well. Teddy Graham, come here, baby. He's like, what? I know, right? Getting treats before dinner. Ugh, if you feel like having some, you can have some, bud. Teddy is not the most food motivated cat. Like he eats and thinks things are delicious, but he's not the most food motivated cat. Now, Laundria is. Now, since I don't feed them like a whole packet all at once, it's more of like a treat, a snack, or a topper, I cut it and then I fold it. And I'm totally one of those obsessive, uh, like food health cat moms where I like put it in the fridge, but I don't wanna leave you guys, so I brought a cool pack. <laughs> I brought a cool pack in here to cool it down. And so Nulo is not only just cats, of course not. Nulo, they have uh, dog treats as well, dog food as well. Um, they have these cool trainers. This one is a duck flavor. Yeah, these are really cool. They're like moist, you know, and I love moist treats because a lot of our animals, especially during the summer, they have hydration problems. Yeah. So I like to use foods 
snacks that have a little bit of moisture in them. Now, for all of you that RSVP'd, Nulo has a special discount coming your way. You will receive it by the way that you signed up, you RSVP'd. I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume that it was an email address that you used for your RSVP. Let's sit on down with our animal. All of our animals. <laughs> so I put down a bed for Teddy because Teddy will just like go to his bed. <laughs> Levon's a little bit different. Levon's been sleeping. It's true. He's been sleeping. Yeah. Big, big, big surprise. So go ahead and find your mat with your animal. And by the way, we are going to be choosing a winner. All right. For posting a picture with you and your animal during our breathwork class. Okay. A picture taken at some point during Hi Baby. Um, the winner is going to get a prize pack from Nulo that's worth over a hundred bucks, okay? So it's definitely worth trying to snap a photo of you and your furry friend doing some breath work today. And then tagging us, you have to tag Nulo Pet Food on Instagram, okay? And also Healthy Spot, okay? So tag both so they both can see you. So with yoga and our animals, we have to understand that the yoga is going to be kind of on their terms. I, I feel like as humans, we, um, we tend to assume that we can take control and force. But, you know, when we force our animals to do things, it doesn't feel good for us either, does it? You know, like when we're kind of like force squeezing and hugging them and they're like eh, giving us a stiff arm. Same thing with yoga practice. Same thing if you were to be at like a doggy boot camp. If they're not having it, they're not having it. Like Teddy, he likes to be adjacent. He likes to be nearby. Levon will do his thing. He will roam around, <laughs> as you just saw. So find your seat. You could also lie down if you want to lie down. Sorry, my screen just went dark and I wanted to make sure I didn't lose you. Better not do that again. So how many of you out there, give me a yogi emoji if you're near your phone have done yoga before just you maybe you've done pranayama work before so pranayama yoga is the breathing or ujjayi breath you can call that as well or if you've done yoga with us if you've done yoga with me here on healthy spot instagram so find your spot you could be lying down Visually, we're not gonna be seeing a lot in this class because it's mostly about breath work. So if you want to close your eyes, you can absolutely close your eyes and just listen for the sound. Comfortable seated position for you, maybe animals in your lap, maybe they're directly in front of you, maybe they're off to the side right here. You could also lie down as I said. Relax your shoulders, take a deep breath, inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Deep breath, inhale. Open mouth, exhale. I want you to breathe in and out of your nose the best that you can. Now what we're trying to do, and I'm even just gonna bring down my tone, what we're trying to do is create a calm space for the animal to be in. Have you guys ever noticed that your animal picks up on your senses? You know that like they can tell when you maybe need a hug. <laughs> they can tell when you're crying. Or they can recognize you're sad. They can recognize a disturbance in your energy. So we're trying to breathe calmly lower our heart rate because they can definitely sense our heart rate right so we try to bring things down now a way that you can bring your heart rate down and a way that you can establish calmness through the pattern of your breathing especially for those of you who are musical or mathematical i want you to take longer exhales than inhales so i'm going to do guided counted breathing Okay. It's just going to be strictly inhales and exhales. We're going to inhale for a count of four, and then we're going to exhale for a count of five. 
and then I'll keep building. So clear out your lungs, maybe be massaging ears or shoulders of your animal. Mine's over here. Let's inhale. Inhale one, two, three, four. Exhale five, four, three, two, one. Inhale one, two, three, four. Exhale five, four, three, two, one. Inhale one, two, three, four. Exhale five, four, three, two, one. Breathe normally. This is also excellent type of relaxation breathing for you when you're trying to go to sleep at night, especially on these hot days. It's kind of like the counting sheep thing. You're counting to yourself. Now, we're going to expand on that breathing pattern. Okay? So, we're going to inhale for four. We're going to hold our breath for four. We're going to slowly exhale for four like eke it out. And then we're gonna hold our empty breath at the bottom for four. And we're gonna start all of that over again. Okay. Here we go. Inhale, one, two, puff up, three, four. Hold your breath, hold it. Not stressful, just hold it. Four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Hold your breath at the bottom. Four, three. If there's more air to get out, get it out. Two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold your breath at the top. One, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Hold your breath at the bottom unless you have more air to get out. Four, three, two, one. Again, inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold your breath at the top. Maybe put it up in your chest. Four, three, two, one, exhale, four, three, two, one, let it go. Breathe normally as the human being that you are. Nice, normal breath. So I'm staying closer to, to my camera here because I don't want it to turn off on me, okay? It was trying to turn off, so I'm staying up a little bit closer. Um, for those of you who do practice yoga, you've probably heard of energy chakras before, energy chakras that go down the, the center of our body. Uh, most of us have heard of the third eye before. So it's right here on all of us, including our animals. Now, how many of you out there have like been petting the face of your animal and you kind of like not go in between the eyes, but right above, like right there, right there, and then kind of like work it back on the skull and they kind of like, uh, they kind of like bliss out a bit. They enjoy that pressure, just like just like how we can enjoy it, you know? You know, when we put our head down like this and our, and our head is on our hands, it's like kind of comforting to receive that pressure. So as we're doing breath work and we're staying nice and calm, you can massage and work their third chakra. Yeah, I know, Levon, when he's in it, when he's like here on me, it's like all third chakra and then like down the skull, down and back. It's like this like cooling massage for him. Guys, there's also a lot of acupressure points in their ears. So each animal is going to be unique with this, but light massaging of the ears. If you get like a yelp or a smack away, it means they're just really sensitive, you know, in their ears, but some like really, you know, some really, really like it. So we have to figure out what our animal 
and joys and what helps them relax and be calm with us. How's your breath? Is it just like a little bit calmer? Just like a little bit? Yeah, me too. And I don't want to guarantee it, but I'll make an educated guess that your animal is a little bit more calm with you as well. Now, some of us, we can lie down with our animals. And some of us, if we lie down, they're like, eh. they like kind of get on us, lick us, and like destroy the chi, <laughs> destroy the zen. So you might have to be seated upright or like leaning back for your breathing meditation. So we've done inhales and with longer exhales. And we've done four counts up, holding at the top, four counts down, and holding at the bottom. These are all excellent breath work exercises for calm zen. Now, breath of fire, we're not going to do it because this is supposed to be really calm and a calming space for you and your pet to connect. But breath of fire is that Pilates like type of type of breath. If you're looking to wake your pet up, if you have kind of a sleepy dog, <laughs> you could use breath of fire and it will like alert them. It'll wake them up a little bit. Isn't that interesting? So, okay, Teddy's already asleep. He's like gone. He's like back here in the corner. I don't know if you can see him. He's like gone. <laughs> I might pick him up <laughs> and breathe with him a, a little bit more. A lot of us can lie down on our back. We can put our animal here, belly, chest, and their tail can like drop through our legs and our knees can be bent. Uh, that's a good position. I'm gonna tap my device once. Yeah, just so I can see it. All right. So I am gonna disturb my teddy bear. I'm gonna bring him up onto me and see. Well, maybe I'll take Levon, just cause Levon's already awake. Hi, baby. Levon also really likes to stretch. Hey, baby. A nice little beginner stretch for him. Oh, yeah. So the same style of breath work can be done with them lying on you or, you know, sitting on you might be a little uncomfortable like how Lalan's doing to me right now. But if they become comfortable and they lie down, it could actually be like very, very therapeutic. So relax your shoulders, relax your jaw, whether you're seated or whether you're lying down. Close your eyes or keep them open. Do what you gotta do in your home. We're gonna inhale through the nose and then we're gonna slowly exhale through the mouth. Okay, and we're gonna change it up a couple times. So let's take an inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, and now nose and nose. So inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose, Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Keep breathing. Keep breathing, inhaling and exhaling through the nose the best that you can. I wanna talk about the sound that we make whenever we breathe in and out of our nose. So if you've taken yoga classes before where they focus on pranayama, uh, you've probably heard the yogic breath, okay? So it's breathing in and out of the nose, almost like you're like sipping through a straw, or almost like you're trying to make audible ocean waves with your nasal passages, okay? So I don't wanna be like weird, but I'm gonna try to make it a little, I'm trying to, I'm gonna overdo it to see if you guys can hear it. I'm not sure if you will be able to hear it or not. So it sounds a little bit something like this. Oh my gosh, my, my nostrils are gonna flare. Don't look at that. <laughs> Can you guys hear that? <laughs> so kind of like light oceanic type of waves of inhaling and exhaling. Keep breathing on your own. Try to make it as organic as possible. I'm right here with you. I'm watching the time. We're doing it for 
a specific amount of time and I'm not gonna tell you for all those clock watchers out there. There's just people out there in the internet world in the digisphere sphere just doing breath work with their animal and connecting in. I love this so, so much. How's the breath going? Let's take one more inhale through the nose. One more exhale through the nose. We've worked on rhythm. We've worked on audibility. Now let's work on where in the body we are breathing. And for those of you who are lying down with your animal, this one might be kind of like funny. <laughs> because it might move your animal around. Yogis, pet owners, we are gonna try to breathe into different sections of our body. Uh, for some of you, this might feel familiar. For some of you, this might feel completely like the very, very first time. So a lot of us breathe up here in the chest. And most of us breathe pretty darn shallowly, meaning we're just breathing enough automatically to survive. Have you ever watched an infant breathe while they're sleeping? They have this big bowling ball of the stomach that goes out and in and out and in. That's the natural way to breathe. As humans, once we start walking around on this planet, we are conditioned that our bellies are supposed to be sucked in all the time. It's also anxiety, like anxiousness, breathing up here, up tight, in our neck, in our thoughts, everything's up. So belly breathing, purposefully sticking out your belly as you're inhaling and purposefully vacuuming out the belly as you exhale is more how we're naturally supposed to breathe. So if you're lying down and your animal's on top of you, <laughs> your belly is gonna move up and down. If you're lying down or if your shoulder blades are pressed up against a wall, I want you to think about your shoulder blades expanding from right to left and then coming back in. So we all know how to breathe up into our chest. All of us adult humans know how to do that because we all know stress. Let's breathe down into our belly. If your hands are on your pup or your kitty cat, you can keep them there. If you have a hand free, put it on your low belly, like belly button, like thumb on the belly button, and then your palm directly underneath that. And we're gonna breathe there. Inhale through nose or mouth. I'm not even gonna stickle about that. Inhale, belly breathe. Exhale. Inhale, belly breathe. Exhale. Keep going, breathe in. And exhale. Breathe in, let the belly stick out. And exhale. Keep breathing. Close your eyes if you can. As you're inhaling, let your clavicle spread. Let your shoulder blades spread. Let your back fill up with air. And then exhale slowly, let all that come back to the center. As you inhale, take up so much real estate chest, belly, ribs, armpits, back. Can you breathe into your low back? Oh, it's so yummy when you learn how to breathe into your low back because it actually expands and creates space. More blood flow, oh my gosh. It's just like so yummy. I, I love breathing techniques. I could talk about this stuff all day, but I won't. <laughs> Continue your breathing. I'm gonna give you some more visual cues. As you're inhaling and exhaling, I want you to visualize your lungs growing bigger and stronger, stronger still. I want you to push the limit of your inhales. Make it slightly 
uncomfortable how big your inhales are. Even when you think you're all the way full, take one more sip and let it go. Obviously, we're not trying to throw air out of our body because we're trying to keep a nice, calm, fostered space with us and our pets and our animals so we don't want to freak them out. Yeah? Can you spread open through clavicle? This one I love because a lot of us think that like our neck and right here is just like locked and frozen. Our clavicle, collarbones actually slide. So we can actually create more space up here. We can pull our ears a little bit further away from the base of our neck as we inhale. If you're breathing with your mouth closed, what are you doing with your tongue? Is your tongue like thrusted at the top, like the roof of your mouth? Or is it like slack light? Try, try to have a little bit more slack light. Try not to clench the teeth. A couple of more breaths. <sighs> They're doing awesome. One more. Big breath. Inhale. Make it the biggest you can. Big ribs. Big ribs out. Big belly. Big back. Big hips. And exhale. <sighs> Give your pet some little extra love. How's that calmness going between you guys? I know a lot of you guys are like stepped away from your devices, right? And you know, if you couldn't get a photo of you and your pet during class, but you want to, you know, enter for a chance to win the prize pack from Nulo, stage it, take it after class. Just make sure you guys upload and tag us, okay? Remember, Nulo Pet Food and Healthy Spot. Make sure you tag us. Do it within 24 hours, okay? So it doesn't have to be like right now, but, you know, directly after class is a good time for it. <sighs> So this kind of concludes just nice, relaxing, zen breath work with our animals on a Thursday evening. Uh, I'll be posting this up to their IGTV. It's up to Healthy Spot if it's going to stay up there or not. But maybe you can visit it again uh, later on this weekend, maybe on like a Sunday morning, you know, or Saturday night. Uh, feel free to type in some questions down there. Hey, I put in, I pinned it, the discount code that you could use at HealthySpot.com. So if you're an orderer online, that help, that code down there is for you. It's NULO30, okay? N-U-L-O-3-0. This discount code will give you 30% off of your NULO items. Again, I love this brand. It's near and dear to my heart because it helped me nurture my kitten when I adopted him. You guys are amazing. Thank you for these thumbs up. Feel free to tag me too if you want. Slide over into my DMs. I'm Amy McGuire Fitness. I would love to help you with your yoga practice, dog yoga practice, cat yoga practice, <laughs> or even just talk about, you know, human asana, okay? Just our own yoga stuff. I would love to help troubleshoot things for you. Let me see who's still awake. Levon is just like, he, he like wants his dad in the living room. But here, come on, baby. Look. Yeah, let's say goodbye to the people. Yeah, say goodbye to the people. Mm -hmm. This is our Lavandrius new heart. Guys, thank you so much for being here. I always have such a good time being with you guys. Such a supportive community. Yeah, reach out, talk to us. Thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, I'm Amy. I'm Amy McGuire Fitness. Amy McGuire, M C G. U-I-R-E if you want to chat after class because I'll be ending this uh, live IGTV shortly. <laughs> yeah, that's my kitty, Levon. You guys are amazing. So cute. All right. Well, feel free to... Uh, so much, Zen. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. You guys, you guys make it possible. You guys and Nulo Pet Food and Healthy Spot. Hey, <laughs> all right, guys, we'll see you later. All right, take care. We will see you at the store or online or at our next Wolf From Home event in September. I'm not sure when the next one is. See y'all later, bye.